Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, so, <laughs> it's been a little while. Oh, that's pretty much an understatement. But uh, yeah, I'm back uh, for at least this video. I don't know how many I'll be doing. But um, yeah, I was asked to do this by, uh, by Melton and uh, you'll see why in a bit. But uh, today I'm gonna be using Signature from the club. Uh, my tub is almost dead. Uh, I do something a little bit different when I'm getting closer to the bottom of the tub. I don't know if you guys do it too, but I don't really like that huge ring in the center. So what I did was I just scooped it from the edges and then I just redistributed it along the bottom. I feel like it helps me get a little bit of a better load. But uh, yeah, uh, razor for today, gonna be going with my Max Brecker. This is a Suminagashi 7.8 quarter hollow, French point, these nice blue acrylic scales, uh, absolutely beautiful, just a little nimble razor. And then the star of the party, uh, I have it in this gorgeous unicorn mug, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be um, pretty much brand new. This is Milton's first hand tied offering and it is a 28 millimeter uh, fan and it is super super dense it's got this gorgeous handle and he will be doing a drop one week from today so uh definitely definitely look out for it i'll talk a little bit more about the knot and then he drew this little baby face on him because i always joke that milton's 12. so this thing is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, it has super, super jelly tips. So I like to go a little bit drier than normal to do my load. So I'll get loading here. Don't wanna to spend too much time talking, but I hope everybody is doing well since my last video. Uh, I haven't been working too, too much. Um, just trying to get school done, like I said. Uh, this semester, I'm not taking quite as many classes, so I might try and get some of the uh, testing that I would have to do for the air guard done. So, uh, on a separate note about the brush, I will say that this thing does require quite a bit of soap, so be very generous with your loading. But considering how dense it is and uh, you know how, um, how big the knot is, you don't really need like a considerable amount of soap, I'd say. It's just maybe a slightly heavier load than normal. I always load it like I hate it anyway. And, uh, I am trying to kill this tub, so <laughs> I'm going to load pretty heavy anyway. Uh, I have three days of growth right now, and uh, I've been enjoying shaving with three days growth. I typically get my best shaves with this, uh, this amount of growth, and because I'm not going into work every day, and honestly, it doesn't matter in regards to work, if I'm shaving or not, I choose to shave, but I've also been shaving in the evening because I like to work out early in the morning. So it just makes it a little bit easier for me to get ready in the morning. And then on top of that, I like to work out and, um, when you get a close shave and you work out, at least in my experience, um, my face ends up getting like really stingy and uh, a little bit irritated. My skin is pretty sensitive to heat, ironically. And because of that, it reacts pretty poorly to heat. So it does get kind of hot in the plane I'm not all fancy with air conditioner or anything, so 
If it's hot, it's hot. So giving my skin kind of the, the night to recover from the shave is preferable, at least for me. So. This is in uh, not Kaizen. I'm killing this tub off so that I can start using my Kaizen. I could always just give this to my little cousin, but I'm so close to the finish line. Why not just kill it? So maybe just a little bit more water. And on that one, I did drip it with my hands <laughs> into the brush, not ran it directly under the tap like I sometimes do. So. For anybody kind of new to the channel and wondering why I didn't lather my mustache until the end, um, I really don't like splaying the brush <laughs> across the bottom of my nose because the, um, especially because I like denser knots and bigger knots, the brush tends to go up my nose and put lather up my nose, even without splaying. Sometimes it still puts lather kind of up my nose a little bit. So I like to try and mitigate that. <laughs> Seven minutes in, razor hasn't touched my face yet. Fantastic. I hope he does not bark for too long. Should have put him in the room or something. Might end up closing the door. We will see. So anyway, gonna be doing first pass with the crane. <laughs> uh, of course, first video in like a what is it? Probably two months already? And the dog's gonna bark a ton. Cool. Yeah, so I haven't really been watching uh, videos all too much. Um, so for all my friends that make videos, you know, I apologize for, for not watching. Um, kind of not super invested with the, uh, the hobby right now. You know, purchasing and getting new stuff. This brush was really the last thing that I purchased uh, in a while. And then after that, I really haven't been too interested in buying too much. But I still shave on a regular basis. You know, nothing's change too much there. Yeah. So, I still enjoy straight razor shaving. I still really like traditional shaving. And uh, I do still talk to everybody, just not on the uh, active basis that I did before, but yeah. 
So, just not super into the hobby right now. But uh, like I said, I still do enjoy shaving, so. And I don't think that'll ever really change. But back to the brush. Uh, this thing is great. As you can see, uh, even though it is extremely dense, and this is the densest brush that I own by far, uh, even denser than my 33 millimeter Declaration B1, and this is a 28 millimeter, and uh, this is no joke, denser than that. So, but display, despite the immense density of this knot, it has zero flow through issues and has had zero flow through issues since day one. Because of its density, it has excellent backbone and Milton is, you know, a true pro. He knows how to set a knot. So, the splay is very easy. The knot is very jelly. Um, not quite to the level of the V4 tip knot that he had, but it is pretty much right there. Um, so the knot does start out like very jelly, but uh, as you use it a little bit more and it breaks in, uh, probably about like a little bit over five uses in, it does lose a little bit of that jelliness, which is a good thing in my opinion. Um, the extreme jelliness of the knot makes it a little bit difficult to load at first but um like i said once you pass that like five to seven shave mark um and it kind of like i said loses that gel it's it's much better so very very nice I mean, the knot is just extremely luxurious. Pretty much everything about it is. Yeah, I think I can get away with doing like a half pass on the next one. So, only gonna be lathering up my cheeks. I do notice that when I shave with three days of growth, oh, about to skip. <laughs> but, um, my shaves tend to be a little closer. Beautiful. And uh, unfortunately, Annette does not have a towel rack in her bathroom, hence why I have my towel right here. But uh, I can't hang my shrub, so I'm not gonna be doing the usual 10 laps, but it's quite all right. Yeah, my neck is pretty good. I mean, as always, I could probably use a little bit of touching up right here, but I'm not working tomorrow. I have no reason to need to be uh, completely clean. And then sometimes when I touch up that area, I tend to get a little bit of sensitivity. Just a little bit of water.
And uh, I apologize if it's a little bit dimmer than usual. Um, I didn't want to use the vanity light just because it's been really hot lately. And, uh, you know, most houses in Hawaii, I feel, don't have central AC. We do not here. And uh, the vanity light just makes it really hot, hotter than it already is. And uh, yeah, I just don't wanna deal with that. <laughs> so. Excellent, as always. So this has really been my uh, my primary razor that I've been using for uh, a little bit now. I've been unfortunately very lazy with trying to home, so I just have a bunch of razors right now that are sitting that really need edges. Um, I will get on that. <laughs> It has been my pretty much workhorse razor. Along with my um, my fridor. So I left the uh, the Dark Angel Wing and the uh, Kikoboshi at home. And yeah, unfortunately I only have four razors with serviceable edges, so. But that is the shave. Uh, so as you can see, I still have quite a bit of lather left over, but um, not, you know, a ton. So, like, what I pulled out of the brush, like, it was mostly just the, uh, the watery stuff. So, as you can see, the brush isn't really hogging lather very much. Um, it's not holding on to too much. So, let me just clean it out so that I can show you those glorious tips again real quick. But, yeah, this is it completely soaking wet, not squeezed out at all. And as you can see, it is gelling up very nicely. So I'll just give it a little ring real quick. And this is also kind of to show that like, you don't need to worry about like, I know Signature is like a darker color, so it doesn't really have like the darkest hue to it. Like if I was using like a Lavanil, then maybe I'd be a little bit worried about tip staining. But um, yeah, like I've had zero issue with that. And there you can see those glorious tips kind of give you a little bit of that density right there, but this is just phenomenal. Um, so like I said, Milton will be having his drop uh, coming up uh, one week from the release of this video. Uh, it's gonna be really, really cool and he'll be announcing it. So definitely look out for it. And uh, if you are able to, I 100% uh, recommend getting one of these. Um, to me, they're gonna be pretty much a game changer for the, uh, for like the price that Milton is putting them out, um, I really think you're getting an excellent brush. Sorry about the dog, as usual. I don't think I can get, ever get a video without some kind of ridiculous background noise going, so. Let me just dry my face off. Uh, this is the signature, so this is, um, 
uh, the new bottling pretty much. Uh, I don't know if Peter is ever going to do those super like Gucci uh, decan bottles again with Signature. Um, I hope he does, but I have mine, so <laughs> I don't really care. But yeah, beautiful shave. Absolutely glorious. last time this is the brush um, so excellent super super dense very soft tips um, probably some of the softest that I felt um, nice backbone oh I also didn't mention zero scrub like uh, not scrub uh, scritch no scratchiness to it uh, just a very light amount of scrub pretty much from the the density in the backbone of this knot that's pretty much the only scrub that's in there but um yeah that's gonna do it for this video so thank you guys for coming and watching um you know i might try to upload like maybe a little bit more frequently but we'll see like i said i'm not super uh into the hobby right now so um you know maybe just once in a while come have a chat with you guys uh give a little bit of like maybe some life updates or anything but uh, aside from that, uh, yeah, this is my kind of, not review, but the kind of preview of Milton's hand tied knot. And uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for coming and watching. Hope to catch you in any future videos, and I will see you.